Okay, uh, one of you said to me, you're on a roll. You're on a roll, McMahon. Well, here's the thing. I was on my spring break, and when I'm on my break, I try to get as much content as I can because I got the last half of the semester, and I got to tighten up my belt, and so uh, it's going to be crazy those last uh, eight weeks. So uh, let's get the content out while we can. Seize the opportunity. Okay. So... I was thinking of uh, reviewing this fourth gen uh, monster and uh, it's a very special save the ocean edition purple dial has little tiny penguin feet on it and uh, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking wait a minute it just seems like yesterday I had the first gen monster I mean what I don't even know where the time went. I, I'm old. Oh my God, I'm old. I just yesterday had the the first gen, and now I have the fourth gen here, and I actually like them all. The monster's a special piece, man. So, okay, I lost my mind. Listen to me, as I was thinking about the first gen monster and this current uh, fourth edition right here. Uh, uh, a coinciding thought occurred to me, and it was this. I can't believe LeBron James is close to 40. I, it seems like yesterday he was this young rookie on the Cavaliers. And then when he was on the Mavericks, the decision. All these loudmouth broadcasters in sports world said he lacked the special ingredient required to achieve greatness. And I'll tell you what, LeBron James, he was listening. And it was almost like those words put fire in him. And I'll tell you what, he became the greatest NBA scorer of all time. Now, my favorite basketball player of all time is Michael Jordan. But, but you know, the statistics don't lie. And uh, LeBron James, man, I started researching these memories I had of the first-gen monster and my... My memories of LeBron James when he first started with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I, I may have lost my mind, but uh, I have something to tell you. Something to share with you, ladies and gentlemen. Something to share with you about this very beautiful 42 millimeter Seiko 4th Gen Monster with the purple dial and little penguin feet. I have something to share with you about this. Uh, in my research... I realize that LeBron James' basketball career has followed the Seiko Monster timeline to an uncanny degree. Now hear me out. Don't leave. Don't, don't go to another channel. No flipping. No flipping. Stay with me. All right, listen. First Gen Monster 2010. That's when James played as LeBron 1.0 on the Cavaliers. Second Gen Monster, 2012. That's when James played as LeBron 2.0 on the Miami Heat. Look at that. Unbelievable. Third Gen Monster, 2014. That's when James played as LeBron 3.0 on his return to the Cavaliers. Fourth Gen Monster, 2019. That's when James played as LeBron 4.0 on the Los Angeles Lakers. Ladies and gentlemen, as I speak, there is no 5th Gen Monster, and there is no 5th Gen LeBron. But wait, there's more! No flipping, no flipping, don't leave me, stay with me here. Just as LeBron is the leading scorer of all time, the Seiko Monster remains the dominant all-time seller of Seiko Divers. Just as LeBron has been MVP for every team he's ever played on, the Monster has been an MVP for the Seiko Diver lineup in every iteration. Ladies and gentlemen, the evidence is overwhelming. Against his will, LeBron James is evolving with the Seiko Monster. This is a plot device in a Philip K. Dick science fiction novel that he was still writing before his un untimely death. No flipping, no flipping. Whether or not you've heard of Philip K. Dick doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that the monster is the MVP of the Seiko Divers. And so in this context, 
The expectations are high for this Seiko monster. Very high. Very high indeed. So how does the fourth gen Save the Ocean line up? Let's start with a price point. Purchase for $330 in 2024. You're getting a rudimentary Seiko movement before R36, 40 hours. Not bad at this price. Now, Escapement Watch, I believe the gentleman on that very successful uh, YouTube channel, Escapement Watch, says this movement, the 4R36, is actually more accurate than the 6R35 on more expensive models. Uh, I would like to get some confirmation, but I find that interesting. He, he's very obsessed with uh, checking the accuracy of his watches. He has uh, the machinery for it on his channel. Uh, the build quality in terms of case design, dial detail, loom, time accuracy, and most importantly, the, bell, the bezel movement is excellent on this. There's no loose, cheap feeling. It is a really nice. There's perfect tension and smoothness. And uh, I'm very, I, I don't know how Seiko did this for 330 bucks. So uh, this is all outstanding, worthy of a watch double, uh, double the cost. Now, where, where you will feel that Seiko pinched their pennies, and ooh, they pinched them. Oh, they pinched those pennies. It was on the rattle bracelet with a stamped clasp. You won't even see it in this video. You can't, I can't even look at it. Now, I took off that uh, rattle bracelet off the monster, and I whisked it away. I whisked the abomination away. And it's currently, this is currently on an FKM uh, rubber strap with Seiko 2.5 fat bar, spring bars. This is called the Dive Core. Very comfortable. Now, I, I've tried this on many uh, of my other straps. Man, it looks good on the uh, the orange and my navy blue uh, original Tropic, but I, there's something about black that brings out that purple, so I'm happy with black, and I'm happy with the 2.5 uh, spring bars. I mean, you got to have the right strap. I mean, LeBron James wears his Nike basketball shoes, and my fourth-gen monster is mated with a premium dive core. Got to go with that. So... Um, that, that's part of the appeal. Now, um, what else can I say about it? it, it it's a good size. Let me see if I can fit the Seiko Tuna in here, just so you can see the size differential. I don't know if we can do this. It will, uh, the, the Tuna is a little more significant in size, also on a dive core. And, uh, you know, if I were sane, sane, S-A-N-E, which clearly this video contradicts that notion summarily, you know, this, this would be a great two-watch collection right there. You're done. <laughs> That's fantastic. What a greedy pig. You got another six watches in your collection. Get out of my face, McMahon. All right, so. So, uh, what do I not like about this watch? Oh, gosh. Well, it's old. It's just old. This is the fourth generation. Talk to LeBron James. He's 39. He wishes he were 29. Same with the monster. I wish I had the prime version. What's that? The third gen. Now, the third gen, I had four versions of it. All beautiful. Should have kept them. Uh, you know, it's the all-time score in the Seiko lineup. I had jade green, navy blue, coral blue. What was the other one? Oh, sunburst orange. It's weird, man. I've, I've had some expensive watches in this house, but I still think about those uh, monsters. They were going between four and 500. We all, we all want to go back to our prime, aren't we? We're all Nettie Merrill in the swimmer in that famous John Cheever short story, just fantasizing about being young again. So, I don't know. The good news about this watch, it's about 80% as appealing as the third gen. The bad news is that I'm greedy for the other 20%. You know, that's just, that's just human nature. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to overplay my regret about selling those third gen monsters. You know, social media manipulates us. It makes regret a sort of performance art to get clicks. And I, I want to re resist the clickbait. That's kind of ironic, McMahon. You want to resist sensationalism and clickbait and you just compared the fourth gen monster to the iterations of LeBron James, dude. And you, 
you claim that it's some sort of conspiracy. Well, I don't know. Let me just go back to rereading my Philip K. Dick novels so I can see where I can find those parallel plot points between the Seiko monster and LeBron James. Now, before we go, I, I didn't do a lot of handling this. I want you to see the side. Beautiful watch. 330. I, I do recommend this. And uh, if you want to spend a little bit more, if you can find these for about 1200 which is where I found mine, this is the Tuna. If you're looking for a little more heft, if you're looking for uh, the quartz accuracy, this is also on the dive core. And if you want sanity, stop uh, reading Philip K. Dick novels. I swear to God, you're going to start uh, having conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories uh, in your head. Anyways, LeBron James is on my mind. I can't believe the dude's almost 40. I can't believe there's four gens of LeBron James and four gens of the monster. I really do have to contemplate the rapidity and the brevity of life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think of the fourth gen monster. Until next time, I'm out.